Okay, so France 24, which is a French uh, government funded TV news channel, um, has uh, published a video of an interview to the individuals that basically did that sabotage or incursion into Belgorod. Um, this interview took place in the border region uh, between Ukraine and Russia. And uh, basically, she's asking questions to a bunch of uh, white nationalists, uh, skinheads, neo-Nazis, whatever you want to call them, that decided to join the Ukrainian army and take up arms. Do notice throughout the interview how she glorifies them. And he say, she says that the incursion was so success, successful. Uh, she she that say that the incursion was, was well, incredible or whatever. Uh, even though they were they are now back into Ukraine and they lost around 70 members of that incursion and others were uh, retained by the Russian authorities. Anyways, um, let's play the video. We've been brought here to this secret location towards Ukraine's northern border with Russia in a highly mediatized operation. We've been brought to meet two groups, the Freedom of Russia Legion and the Russian Volunteer Corps, who participated in the spectacular incursion into Russian territory in the Bolgorod region. And they've been telling us uh, some details about that, although it remains shrouded in mystery. It's really unclear just how much support the Ukrainian authorities gave them. They've publicly denied any direct support, but there's so much we don't know about how this incursion happened. It's the first known joint operation involving these two Russian paramilitary groups formed in Ukraine, both ardently anti-Kremlin. The first goal, we want to stop war in Ukraine. The second goal, we want to change Putin's regime. We want to free our country. It's our business, our own Russian business. Civil war. Showing off what he claimed is a captured Russian armored vehicle, the highly controversial leader of the Russian Volunteer Corps, Denis Nikitin, hailed the operation as a communications success, brushing off questions about his far-right roots. They never concealed our, so to say, ideas, so we're conservative, traditionalist, right-wing. I don't think there's a problem. I don't care how Russians would call me, they keep on calling us names, traitors, Nazis, neo-Nazis actually, to be, to be correct. So, should we care? The implications of this incursion could be far-reached, as well as any military impact. It could have a psychological impact too, perhaps sowing panic in Russia, creating chaos. That's what these men hope. But it also gives the Kremlin an argument to say that Russia is a victim in this war. It also could divert Russian troops away from uh, other frontline areas in Ukraine as they prepare their counter-offensive. Okay, so these guys... They want to free the country from Mr. Putin, who's got 80% popularity rate in Russia. That means that the remaining 20, it might be them. They also say that this is their own personal Russian martyr. This is a, a civil war for him, okay? Um, civil war is for within a country. You don't get another country to support you to fight a civil war, right? If you do that, that is a war between two countries. They did say uh, that they're not receiving any support from the West or from Ukraine. Well, we saw the cars that are the news uh, when they did the incursion in Belgorod. These cars were Western supply cars and the country that is receiving these cars is Ukraine. Therefore, Ukraine gave them the cars. Therefore, these guys I finance are supported by the West supported by the West. How we know that? You heard the reporter, what she was saying. She was basically glorifying these guys for the incursion in Belgorod. A fantastic, incredible incursion in Belgorod, right? So this is then whitewashing a group of white nationalists, a group, a group of extremists, a group of skinheads, basically, that decided to take up arms and to fight against uh, their own country for the reasons that they mentioned before. They're not happy with the government, therefore they're taking arms to fight against the government. Okay, so as you can see um, 
France 24, France, a country who fought Nazism, a country that together with the USA, the UK and Russia, they basically defeated Nazism. Here they are today, basically glorifying Nazis again and telling us that what these guys did was really good, even though they do mention that the background of the leader, uh, Mr. Nikotin, is extremely controversial. But you're still giving them an interview and credit for what they did. It's up to you to believe what you want. I'll continue informing you.